Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete colour or dye and if you guys just follow along you'll see exactly where you need to go. So obviously first grab the red can and just follow where I go because I'm going to be showing you the first two locations of the paintbrushes. So we're going to grab this one over here and there's another one right around this corner and the third one is on the other side. So here's a secret room by the way, I don't really know what this does but I don't think it's important for completing the game. I didn't need to go in there so... Now just carry on so we're gonna go back to the start on the other side because that's like a really important location marker it's important to remember so here we go here's the start again and we're gonna go over here and behind in this little room there's another paintbrush so we have three out of 13 so far that's really quick and over here you're gonna see a screwdriver door and to get the screwdriver obviously you need to go to the red door which is again right around this corner we're gonna open that up and we're gonna grab the screwdriver and you have to be really careful here because you can't really hide but it's really close by so you don't really have to worry but before we go there make sure you go into this room because there is another paintbrush which you need to collect so now i'm going to run over to the screwdriver door and this guy is relentless he's really annoying sometimes he camps but anyways i'm gonna go unlock this door now and there is an obby inside and it's okay if you die because you'll be teleported to the start of the obby not not like restart the entire game. We're just gonna run through this really quickly. Anyways, here's orange and you have another paintbrush and there's a teal door here so we have to remember that for future reference. And now we're gonna run over to orange which is right behind red. It's very easy to find, I'll show you guys. So we're right next to red right now and we're next to that paintbrush room. And now we're going to be running over to uh, to orange, which is right behind red. Like I said, it's over here. It's very easy to find. You just got to open that up. And now you have yellow, which is next to red, but on the other side. So we have to go back to where we came from. Unfortunately, I was almost chased away by this monster and murdered. However, I did, he did go away. So we're going to go back this way, back to red. After we walk past red, you will see the yellow door. It's right here. It's very easy to find and there you have it now there's two places to go here but we need the saw first so we have to go complete this obby and this obby is really annoying because you have to be so careful because if you die you're gonna have to redo it and you're gonna have to spend like a good amount of time on it Here we go, so here we have green and there's a door with a key so we have to remember that for future reference and we did get another paintbrush so we have 6 out of 13 so far and now we're going to run over to green which is unfortunately sort of across the map so we're going to go hide for a second because I don't know where he is and I don't want to die right now but I'm going to run over to red and we're going we're gonna to walk past red because that's where the, the door is to green. Okay, so just follow where I go. Remember guys, you can slow down the video if you need to. Um, there's absolutely no rush for you guys. I was just doing this quickly because I'm very used to the map. But as you turn this corner, you will see the green door immediately. And they have this shapes thing here. And you have teal and a paintbrush. So you have 7 out of 13. And if you guys remember, the teal door is at the first obby we did in the screwdriver door. So we need to go back to red because that's where the door is. So again, this is going to take some time, but you just got to walk over here. And I thought I was going to die, so I ran back, but no, he didn't, he didn't get me this time. Not today. But anyways, we're going to walk past back to red and we need to go left now because that's where the screwdriver door is going to be. We have to complete the obby all over again, but that's fine. Let's just open this up and we have a shape so that means we have to go back to green which is again across the map so they're really making us trek back and forth to be honest but yeah we're gonna go through here because we don't have a color to hide so just in case the monster comes around we're gonna be able to hide now this is yellow 
and we're going to walk past the yellow and we're going to go over here and to the right that's where the door will be and you place the triangle in its place and you have blue now unfortunately i died over here so i had to restart and i sped it up a little bit just so you guys can see what actually happened so I went the wrong way, I saw him and I tried to run but I got caught so I had to redo everything but here we are back at the same point and I'm blue again so that's fantastic. Now if you follow where I go I'll take you to the blue door. We're gonna walk past pink, we don't need that right now, we're gonna hide for a second and we're gonna walk past the big paintbrush door which is the very last door we need and blue is over here. And we have the saw which means we have to go back. Uh, to one of the rooms. I've Honestly, I forgot at this point which room I have to go to, so I was just looking through all of them. I don't know if my instructions can be concise at this point, but we're gonna walk past purple and remember to grab this paintbrush over here. And I actually ended up going to the secret room because I wanted to see what would happen, but the game just ended up laughing at me when I opened the door. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the game did actually scream at me. Like, I heard a scream sound effect, so that was fantastic. And I just go in here, and there's another saw, so... And it screamed at me, so there was nothing in this room. It, it was literally the most useless thing ever. But yeah, we're gonna go back to... I'm gonna go back this way towards purple. And we're gonna walk past purple again, because we we don't need that right now. Actually, I forgot to mention this earlier, it's important for you guys to go up the stairs because a paintbrush is there. I completely missed that. Yeah, I have to run back to, to the stairs a bit at this point because he's chasing me and he's about to kill me. But going upstairs changes my colour and disguises me. But remember, you guys have to grab this paintbrush over here. I completely forgot about it at first, but I ended up grabbing it. And we're going to continue our voyage over here. So. so now we have 10 out of 13, so we only have a few left, a few, a few rooms. And hopefully we will be able to complete that really quickly. So I'm here in green right now because I, I can't even lie. I completely forgot which room I have to go to at the time of making this video. Like my brain just completely blanked. So I apologize in advance if you're trying to follow along as I'm going. Because this, this part isn't fun for me either. I just, I don't know. I forgot. But eventually I do get there. And if you guys... If you guys are wondering. Um, the saw bit is actually in yellow. So we're gonna go past red over here, we're walking, um, yeah he's over there so I couldn't move but he despawned I believe so. I walked over to red so I can hide again and yeah I couldn't open that obviously because I have a saw, not a sledgehammer and he almost killed me here again so I ran to the little screwdriver room and I survived and I waited for him a little bit just so he would leave and he did leave so we're going to yellow now, he's right there but I managed to make it. And here's the saw door, so you have to open that, make sure you grab the piece of wood because that's really important. And now you have to make this obby. And I think you actually do die here and end up at the very start of the game because if you fall here, you can see the floor is like red. So I think you would you would respawn at the start, not at the start of the obby. You would just completely lose all your progress. Anyways, let's go to find purple now, which we've seen the purple door a few times. We've walked past it already and I'll just be showing you guys how to get to it. So it's actually very simple, um, unfortunately the, the monster was camping out and really annoying me so it made it difficult for me to show you guys directly how to get to the purple door but yeah you can see me trying here but he's just everywhere but he did end up despawning so we're gonna move over here and unfortunately I do have to hide a lot because he's just camping around this area because of all of these people just running around. Sometimes I wish private servers were free. Anyways, here's the purple door you just climb up and you need this plank. There's a paintbrush right around this corner so make sure you grab that as well. After you grab that we just need one more paintbrush and as we place this plank you'll notice that there is a sledgehammer at the very end. So if you guys remember there is a sledgehammer like area in red door so that's where we have to go after we find this so that's just me speeding through this and we're gonna go back to red door so back to where we started yeah i ran through the start because i didn't want to die and 
having so much progress done, I was, I was being very over, overly cautious. So that's why I ended up over here, but I'm gonna run through this really quick. And we're gonna walk past this room. I mean, it's a good room to hide in, in case, you know, the monsters are on the corner. And which he was. See what I mean? This guy is so annoying and relentless. I, I was really getting angry at this point. I was like, dude, just go away. Anyways, screwdriver door. I love this door so much, as you can tell. I spent half my time hiding there. Anyways, we're gonna run over to red, and this is where you get the color pink. Which is very simple, because I, I believe that's the last color you need. So just grab that, and I hid here for like a solid second, because he was camping again. Probably because of all of these people just running around like wild rats, but it, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna take the long way over to, um to pink so we're right behind uh, we're actually next to yellow and i had to go in first person for this bit because i i needed to see where he was going it was kind of hard to do that in third person just rotating my camera around and someone did die next to me so let's have an rip in the comments for that guy but anyways we're gonna walk over here this is where green is so i remember green and right next to green right past this little corridor you're gonna find pink i remember walking past it many times so here we go here is the key and the key leads us to the very last paintbrush, which is kind of annoying that they keep sending us around the map back and forth. But it is the last last piece of the puzzle. So all we need to do is essentially run over to yeah, we need to run over to yellow, and we need to go through the first obby again, the very annoying and slow obby. So. And he ended up despawning, but that much is a good thing. And that gives me the opportunity to run through over here. And I'm next to purple right now, and I do take an opportunity to hide there for a second, but it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna run through here, and we're back to back to the start, more or less. Which is, uh, yeah, I understand it's a long way, but I didn't want to die with the key in my hand, so... I apologize for the long-windedness of this tutorial, or whatever you want to call it. And now we're starting to reach the end, we're getting really close. Yellow is right- oh, see this guy, he's really annoying. I had to wait for like 5 minutes before he actually went away. And the people over there, the red person as you can see ahead of me, they were, they were intentionally doing that I think. Dragging the monster around the place just so it would kill people. Anyways, I'm in red right now and yeah, I'm about to exit red. I'm gonna go over here to yellow, which was very risky as you can see, he was really close to me. And you're gonna go in the first door, and you're gonna have to redo this entire obby, so I'm gonna speed that up for you guys again. And yeah, this obby is really annoying, so I would really hate dying here. And it's very, very annoying. But here we go, here's the last door, and as you unlock it, you will see the paintbrush on a nice little table. So, we're gonna take that, and now we have to find the big paintbrush door, which is the final door you need to win the game. So, so we need to exit this bit first, and with this monster running around loose, it doesn't make it any easier. Especially because we don't really have a colour right now. So anyways, it's it's really close, it's right around the corner of blue. If you just go here, you're gonna see a very big opening right as you turn the corner, so here we go. And this bit, I mean, it's just, you have one more colour left to grab. Here's me speeding through it, basically. You are gonna see that little end table, and you're gonna grab that paint, you need that, and guess what guys, now we have to go back to the start, because this game just loves us. And I I know the map pretty well, and I'm telling you guys, now we have to trek across the map from one end to the other just to get to the start so whoever made this game thinks they're really funny by making us walk these long distances but it's very simple here i'm hiding in purple because he was around but um right around this corner you're gonna see start you're just gonna head straight off to this turn just head straight and head to the end and you're gonna get to the starting point point. and after you get to that point you're gonna see the white door and you're gonna fill that in now i don't really know what the four doors are every time i pick a door i just get like this flood escape mini game so I don't, i'm not sure if you get anything else but i got the flood escape mini game and if you guys want to see that it's very simple i just i speed through it and you have to just do this parkour um again do not fall because you know you're gonna lose you're still gonna get a win but you're gonna die so anyways you're gonna sit here and you're gonna win so that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching and if you want chapter two let me know